Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the arena Hopefully this time uh, it will go a bit better than it did the last time the last time was kind of a disaster from my part um, So let's see how Buy the shit out of this So how who should we choose? I am a big fan of the Shaman, actually. It's one of the classes I've been uh, working on and getting my skills up lately. The Rogue is good and the Hunter is good as well. I'm not that good with the Hunter though, so I think actually we're gonna try to go with the Shaman. Shaman? Yeah, we're going with Shaman. Choose that bugger. First off, what... Which one do we have? That one is really good. And that one is really good as well. But I'm gonna go with this one. And I'm gonna try to, well, work on a bit of a different tactic than I did the last time. Because that tactic wasn't really working out. So I'm gonna go, uh, try to go really offensive, really uh, buff oriented. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna go with this guy since this is one of my uh, favorite ones. I'm gonna go with. I want to take that one. I want to have at least one of those, so yeah, we're going for it. Here we have. I like the Scarlet Crusader since it has Divine Shield, which basically gives it a lot more health, so. Mm, yep, I'm gonna go with that one. Silence the minion, then deal one damage to it. It's good, it's good. Uh, but I'm gonna go with the Dark Iron Dwarf. I already had one of those. We don't have the Mad Bomber. Um, so I'm going with that one. Let's see here. You might notice that I will take quite low cards and just a couple of those high cards since uh, I want to t give uh, or uh, have a lot of cards on the table uh, to be able to buff them in order to make them a lot more useful than they actually should be. <laughs> so this is a hard choice for me since I don't really like any of these cards. The Elven Archer, yeah, it's kind of good. You can take out... Uh, something that you want. Uh, the Wind Fury is good, you can actually buff this guy and it pot potentially has a great value. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna play with a weapon. That, that depends on which cards I'm gonna get in the future, but I think this guy is the least valuable. So I'm actually, I think I'm gonna go with the Elven Archer so we can use this uh, in case he has something we want to take out. Or, or, now I'm gonna go with the young Dragonhawk since uh, it's got a greater buff potential. Got greater buff potential. Now here we're gonna go with the, the Hex. I really want that though, but the Hex is wonderful. Uh, the Twilight Drake is useful. Lava Burst is useful. All minions cost one more. That's a funky little card, isn't it? I'm actually gonna go with the Twilight Drake. I'm gonna go with the Twilight Drake. Uh, destroys a random minion with two or less attack. Th I like that one. At the end of the turn, deal one damage to this minion and summon a 1-1 one, one Imp. Um, Lava Burst, deal five damage. I'm not that big of a fan of Overload though. I think Overload is ba mainly just useful in the late game of the stage. Now, I don't really want to go to the late game of the stages. Or the late game of the game. Or the late game at all. Damn, I don't know what. Ah, never mind. I'm gonna go with the Stampeding Kodo since. Um, yeah. His. Uh, well, the the, 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 the. the battle cry is awesome on this guy. Um, now this depends. Draw a card, that card costs three less. Huh. Actually not a good card. Or a bad card, I mean. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm so confused today. Uh, let's see here. The big game hunter. I love the big game hunter though. Um, 
But hopefully we'll not g get to that late game where we'll start to... Uh, and we have our hex card in case... I don't know. I'm, I, th I think I'm actually gonna try to go with this guy since... Well, it's quite interesting. It's a bit YOLO from my side since I don't know the effectiveness of it since I haven't played with it. But uh, I think actually we're gonna go with that one. Iron Beak Owl, Frost Shark, Priestess of a Loon. I mean, the silence. Yeah. What do you guys think? I already have a couple of two cards. Uh, I don't have any six cards, and a heal could be good. It could indeed be good. I'm gonna go with the short, short, short. <laughs> She was the one that I didn't talk about. Now that you didn't see coming, I hope. So, I like all these. I really do. Uh, but, but it's a hard choice. Let's see here. Which do we need? We have a couple of one cards. We have two. A couple of two and a couple of three. So it really doesn't r matter. But I like the death rattle on the harvest golem. It makes it really useful, actually. So uh, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with it. Now, here we are a bit in a pickle. Since I am going with a lot of uh, low minions. I don't, don't really have that many. Yeah, I have a couple of minions. Then the Frostwolf Warlord could be potentially really, really, really good. But I like this guy as well. But I have a tactic that I usually play involving this guy. Um, so I'm actually going to go for it. Uh, ancestral healing, silence minions, and give one damage to it. I'm gonna go with Ancestral Healing, since it could potentially change the outcome of a round at least. Whenever this minion takes damage, draw a card. The Stealth, the Jungle Panther. We're going with the Jungle Panther, my dear. I think. I think? Do I? Yes, I think so. Now, this is something that I... I don't really want any of these cards. I don't really want any of these cards. Not at all. I mean, the Lightning Bolt could be useful, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the Lightning Bolt. Now, since we already have one Dark Iron Dwarf, I think actually we are gonna go with a Wind Speaker. Um... I haven't gotten that many of Overlord cards, so I, I'm, I don't think I don't think though. So. I don't think so at all. Now this is an interesting one. No, it's not. I'm gonna do that. Um. Do I have many spells? I have a couple of spells, so he could be useful. But I really like the Emperor Koba since, yeah, as you see, it is really interesting. The Gadget Sun Auctioneer is really good though, and I would really enjoy having it. I would really enjoy having it, indeed. Now this is a situational thing, I guess. But we don't have that many cards, which actually will give us back cards. <laughs> that sounded weird, but... So, I think I'm actually gonna go with this guy. Yeah. I am. Now, this one is quite interesting. I like that guy. Uh, potentially, if we meet someone with a weapon, he's great, and he has a great value, even without his uh, battle cry. Um, this guy is really cheap and really good, but I think he's mostly just good. Ah, he's got wind, wind fury though, which makes him really powerful. 
Um, and that depends. But I think ah, oh, the overload of two is actually m quite too high of a price. I think I'm gonna go with the acid swamp. Now this is a no-brainer. This is one card you really, really need when playing a shaman. It's one of the greatest cards. That there is. I actually want another one of these, so I'm gonna go with this one first. Now, this one is quite interesting, but I think I'm gonna go with the Silver Hand Knight. What do you guys think? We have one stealth guy, we don't have any guys who summon other guys, so potentially this guy could be really good. I'm gonna go with him. Uh, Forked Lightning deals 2 damage. That one is good. That one is good indeed. Maybe, just maybe, it might be the card that we need. I think, actually, that we're going with the Fort Lightning. You didn't see that one coming, did you? Uh, oh, I haven't seen the War Murloc War Leader before. I wonder if that's a new card. All other Murlocs have... Uh, <laughs> we, we don't have any Murlocs, so it's basically... Well, shit. The Earth Elemental... Oh, is strong. The strong guy, but the sea giant, he fits my tactic here really well, actually. I don't have that many torrent cards, do I? I don't have that many torrent cards at all. Which is quite bad, I think. I do have my ancestral healing and I have I should have something more. Yeah, I have my if I summon a totem I can get a a taunt card. But that's the question. That is the question indeed. Heck, I'm going with our elemental. No. This is an interesting choice. We got <laughs> we could choose another earth elemental if we wanted to. Do. We could do that indeed. Or we could use the doom hammer which got wind fury, but it's got two overload and the big game hunter. I love the big game hunter. I do love it. And since but do we need more torn cards? I think we need more torn cards. Potentially we can need more turn cards. Oh, this is a hard one, guys. My brain's gonna explode. I don't know. What do you guys think? Either that one or that one. What do I? What do I don't even go with that? I made a choice. It may have been the wrong one, but I made it. Now... I'm actually gonna... I think I'm gonna go... I, I'm heavier on the five cards, though. Uh, which means I probably have a quite... Yeah, I have a lot of heavy hitting guys. Which the Wind Fury comes in to become something that's really, really good. Um, I'm gonna go with the win another Wind Fury. Now let's see. Do four damage to himself. Charge, battle cry, give your own opponent a mana crystal. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this guy. Yep. And I'm gonna go with... This guy. And I'm gonna go with... I really want him, I like him, I enjoy him a lot. But... The Monatai Totem is... Sort of amazing. It is sort of amazing indeed. 
I'm going with mono tide. Let's see here how many we have those for we have a lot of wind fury, far side hex. Uh, but we are a bit more heavy on the minion side. Whew. Well, thank you, Victor. Um, I am going to go with the... Uh, oh, this is a hard one. I mean, there's so many hard choices for me this time. But I don't have any of those late game cards. I'm not going really going for a late game, but it would be good to have something that we could use in case of an emergency. So yeah, what the fuck? I'm going for it. I'm going for it, guys. I actually believe in this deck more so than I did the last time we met in the arena. And I hope you guys uh, <laughs> are still with me, since I have been really. Yeah, never mind. Just play, let's just press play. Let's just press play. Do we get an worthy opponent? Or? Do we get an unworthy opponent? I think we're gonna get an unworthy, unworthy opponent. Unworthy opponent! It's lagging! What's happening? Come on! You can do it! It's locked in, but I can't see it. We got a worthy opponent, guys. I did not think so, but it became like that, like every time. No. Silver Priest! This could be interesting, this could be interesting indeed. Uh, honestly, I don't really need you right now. Um... So, you'll have to go. Yeah, much better. Much better indeed. Let's see what choices he will make. I'm gonna say thank you to my friend there. Um dum 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 Let's see here. I'm gonna go with the mad bomb. Yo no motherfuckers! No, no! I thought all three was gonna hit me. Oh that was unfortunate, but it could have gone worse, I guess. Just play a chord already, you don't have that many choices. Yeah. As I said. Hello, sir. I really like this hand so far. I have uh, something that I can go for uh, a lot further, further here, actually. Uh, yeah, you can copy if you want to, but I don't think that's gonna help you, to be honest. I don't really think that will help you at all. Maybe he got a card he can actually play now. No, he's only got two mana crystals, so he needs to heal himself. Well... I, I don't... I don't... even... no. Man. Let's see here. I don't have any totems out yet. I love that he screams medic as soon as he gets out. Just because he's... Yeah, he's injured. Yeah, that's why he does damage to himself. Stop copying my cards, goddammit. What's wrong with you? I don't like... Think well. I know th that the priest has uh, one good AOE card, but that does two damage. So hopefully we can get our guys up a bit um, before that happens. So I can either go with that guy or could go with this guy. 
I think I'm actually going to go with the Twilight Drake since I have quite a lot of cards and uh, in the future I think I may not have that many cards. I ha I'm having, well, this guy uh, potentially, he could do something great now, but uh, as of the moment, he's pretty Win fucked. He's pretty fucked indeed. Let's see, two damage. Uh, do I have someone I can take him out with? Uh, at the end of the turn, give another one. one. Oh, oh, it could be some trouble. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, that's perfect indeed. So, I'm going to go with buffing... Let's see here. I'm going to go wonder. actually do it like... This. And then I'm going to go... Yeah. Go there. And then I'm going to go with... Either a totem, or I can put out a bit of extra damage. Um, I think I'm gonna go with a totem, since we can get a healing totem. Now, nah, never mind then. I'm gonna give my totem some extra health. This guy, if this guy doesn't do something incredibly magical here, he could heal himself though. Uh, the p priest has cards that can heal him um, pretty much, I think. Not as effective as the paladin or the druid, though, but I think he potentially has a lot of things he can do. Hmm. But this guy's basically toast right now, so... It's good to see a good start of this arena match or this arena round. That's not gonna save you, guy. Dude, mate, that's not gonna save you at all. For the crusade! You're gonna. T but you're gonna. What? 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 Are you, what? What? I. 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 Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but well, well played. played. No, not really, but uh, I'm. I think I'm. I need to make it. I don't want to do this. So, a humiliating victory for uh, for the Sad Gang in the first round. That's really awesome. Let's continue with one more, I think. Hmm. Now, you know what, guys? Uh, since this went so well, I'm actually gonna end this episode here, so you guys have to wait for the other uh, episodes. Since this co deck is so interesting, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave you with sort of a messed up cliffhanger here. But, uh, yeah, the next episode won't be far away, so... Um, it probably will be out tomorrow. Uh, if you like this, then uh, leave a comment below. Um, leave a like and favorite if you did. Uh, just look, uh, look in the description and you might see something you like there. I put some new stuff in there as well as uh, a link to some Sajgun apparel actually. Some Sajgun clothing, some Sajgun wear. Uh, it would be great to see you guys wearing some Sajgun um, apparel on the streets. On the streets of Manhattan. No? I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm so happy. I won a game. And I'm probably gonna win more with this deck if we don't Give, well, if you're not unlucky, but that priest really sucked, so it was kind of lucky, even though it kind of went well for us as well. Anyhow, subscribe to become a part of the Satch Gang today, and as always, until next time, guys. Bye.